Hello, I'm going to solve this 2x2 gear cube by Z cube, the Chiwi 3x3 gear cube, and have a crack at this Chiwi gear pyraminx. So first of all, I'm going to solve the Chiwi 3x3 gear cube. Not much English there, the picture of it. Let's crack him open, have a look. The instructions that you get actually have gear cube instructions on there. Awesome work. And here's the cube. Looks great. The caps are much bigger than my other gear cube. Um, here it is, the Lin Huai, which had an incorrect color scheme and was really catchy, which is why I said in my most easiest cubes to solve video that I didn't really like. Gear cubes, um, yeah, see, because it was so crappy, but uh, now that I have this thing and it turns like that, then I'm kind of been enjoying solving on it. So I'll do a scramble here and I'll let you know how I solve a gear cube. Okay, so first thing we do is to try and match up two corner pieces with the other two corner pieces. Remembering you have to move um, a gear cube in twos. There we go. So now they're matched up and we'll find... Well, this was an easy case, but that's very intuitive stage of the thing. Now we need to find that the centres are right. So on the orange and red, the centres are right. But, yeah, the aren't, others aren't. So put them vertically like that and just do R4. And that will correct all the centres to the corners. And that's that stage done right. Now we want to check what edges are right and what ones need swapping. This is permutating the edges. It's just a clear edge swap, so this is what you can do no matter where the edges are to finally bring them out to where you want to be. It doesn't matter how they're orientated, but now they're all permutated correctly. That was another lucky case. So now we want to turn the cube into a cubic shape, so just keep turning R until the white matches the centers and the edges are flat. And there we go, like that. We'll turn it over and do this side. It doesn't matter if they're orientated wrong, as long as they're back into their right spot, in like that, where the orange and white and red and white are right. We can fix the orientation up next. Spin this around so it's green, green center and the flat edges where they're supposed to be. So now we've got the cube back in its cubic position. So I have the correctly orientated edges left to right and the wrong ones front to back and run this out. And this will either solve the cube, or you might have to do it across two other unorientated edges. But that's that's all the algorithms done. Neat. Wee. <laughs> okay, now let's solve this Z cube two by two gear cube. There's a picture of it. There's some six by six by six centimeters. The instructions that come with it. Um, the cube show you the four algorithms that you need to do to solve it. The four steps, because it's really hard to explain how to do this one, but there it is. So if you just scrambled it like this, which feels awesome, you would just be able to wind it back. So the actual real way to scramble it is to click it out like this, one, two times, one, two, yeah, and once it's out, yeah, I'll do it again, you can turn the little corners, and that will muddle it up more, so you close it like that, pull it out, one, two, from a different angle, Give it a little turn, do that again over here, close it up, pull it out again, give it a little bit more of a scramble, there we go, and a bit more, there we go. So the pieces don't permutate, they just orientate, so it's really easy to, here we go, I'll show you how to get a side, you pull it apart and just wind it until, like that, until they're flat, turn it over the other side, and keep winding around till that lines up flat. Oh, have I gone past it? Hang on. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So now they're up, put it back together. There's one face done. Now we want to get one more side done. So we'll do orange, pull it out. Oh, wait, was that it back there? <laughs> Hang on, go around. Oh, there we go. So then close that up. Now this is the trick. You'll either have one or two pieces left to solve. So underneath, I work out how many turns it would take to turn that piece back. In this case, just two cogs, which means I just have to rotate 
the piece above it, pull it out towards you first. So that's the big trick, pull it out towards you. Watch the top piece there, and it has to rotate, in my case, once around, because I had two cogs. If you've got four, you would do it two times. Close it, open it to the right, wind it around once, until the orange is back up the top. Close it back up, and then it's pull it, oh, hang on, put it back how it was, oh, come here, and pull it up, and turn it back around till all the orange face is the same, shut it back up, and we should have one little piece to go, this big one here, so we'll put it underneath there, and we need, you can tell it's the same, where I need to just spin it around once, because it is only two cogs away, so we'll t rotate this piece, and that will spin that around there once, close that up, pull out to the right, rotate the orange piece around once like that, close it back up, pull it back up from the top, rotate it back till you get the whole face and if we've done this right, this should be solved. Close it back up, done, good fun. Okay, I'm gonna try and solve the Chiwi gear pyraminx. I just watched a video of JR Cuba not being able to solve it first attempt, so there's no way in the world, like anybody else in the world can. So here we go, I'll get him out. <laughs> uh, have a look at the instructions. I have a feeling they will come in handy. Yeah, cool, English and, all right, pop them back for now. All right, let's give it a go. Scramble it up, scrambles by the tips. Oh my god, so the centers have moved, the edges of the centers have moved, and the edges are all unorientated. Here we go. So here it is back together thanks to the uh, four algorithms from the instructions. <sighs> anyway, so the other two gear cubes were awesome as the 2x2 two two and 3x3. Three three. Highly recommend. This thing, nightmare. Peace out, space cadets. Thanks for watching Cats and Cubes.